My name is Matthew Eyre, and this is my story. Ever since I was little, I was a very active and athletic kid. I was on every sports team at school and involved in all of the extracurricular sports you can think of. I played soccer, basketball, volleyball, tennis, golf, and many more sports. I also loved riding my skateboard, scooter, and learning tricks on our trampoline. In addition, I was an above average student. When I started grade 7 in 2019, things started to change. I started noticing that I was always exhausted. I used to be able to play every shift on all of my sports teams, and I would just never run out of energy. Now, I was the complete opposite. I no longer had the energy to attend all my games or jump on the trampoline for hours after school like I used to. I became very thirsty and any exercise tired me out almost immediately. As five months went by, my symptoms worsened and I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. All of the diabetes specialists said my fatigue would go away as soon as I got my blood sugar under control with insulin injections. My excessive thirst and all of the other symptoms that accompany high blood sugar all went away, except for my extreme exhaustion. There had to be something else that was wrong. After countless doctor's visits and tests, I was diagnosed with myalgic encephalomyelitis, also known as chronic fatigue syndrome. Through a sleep study, it was discovered that my brain wakes up 24 to 26 times an hour and that I am not able to enter into a deep sleep. Although we don't know the cause of ME, doctors suspect that untreated strep infection and mold exposure were the triggers in my case. The main thing I struggle with is physical activity. Even taking Teddy on a 15 minute walk drains me. This was hard for me to accept as I can no longer participate in any sports like I used to. When I do too much exercise, it affects me a couple days later. This is called post-exertional malaise and is one of the main symptoms of ME. I could also no longer force myself to wake up early for school. My exhaustion prevented me from attending school in person. Despite missing my friends, I had no choice but to finish grade 8 as an online student. In September, I started high school and began by attending 3-4 to four days per week. By the end of the year, I could only manage going a maximum of one day per week. Waking up early to catch the bus, walking to and from classes, and then taking the bus home was simply too exhausting for me and not sustainable. Myalgic encephalomyelitis is an invisible illness. I don't look any different, but now I physically cannot exercise or attend school every day. Despite having adequate doctor's notes, it was a battle to fight for my educational needs, such as access to online learning when I am unable to attend classes in person. As I learn to live with Emmy, I don't know what God has in store for me. As a Christian, I believe that God will show me his plan and the next steps to take. In the meantime, I believe that he will help me persevere through all the challenges. It is very easy to focus on what you can't do and compare it with what you used to be able to do. However, there are always positives in every situation. As a young teenager, I am happy I was diagnosed early on, so there is a name to what I am experiencing. It has also made me realize that I am not in control of my life, but God is, and He has a special plan for my life I have yet to discover. I have really learned the importance of taking breaks instead of pushing myself to past my limits. Another thing I have learned is how to advocate for myself and for my needs. Overall, through living with myalgic encephalomyelitis and type 1 diabetes, I have learned to adapt when faced with challenges, pace myself, and keep on going day by day.